You can't exit uh, the hammerhead anywhere like you could with the Mako. Only where it is allowed. A medical station. But apparently I have full metagel. I, have, I picked up a couple on Zaid's mission and didn't use them. This sounds. This looks like a bad place for a research station. Dr. Case's log number one. We have detected a site of incredible significance located beneath the volcano. The unpredictable terrain will make retrieval of any data extremely hazardous. Hmm. 250 crows. Yeah, that was worth it. Oh, okay. That just goes back to where we came from. I wonder what they found here. Seems like this place led them to another uh, Prophean artifact somewhere. Door we can bypass. Meridium, by the looks of it. Some equipment. Kind of a pointless cave. That's it was a storage room or something. Or maybe that machine did some kind of experiment that we don't know about. More credits. Not exactly a lot. Dr. Case's log number two. This hellish planet is a star map that points to a Prophean site of major significance. Dr. Orloy and I have mere hours to retrieve all we can before the conditions become too dangerous to continue. We learn too late that the local volcanic instability is magnified by our power grid. If we only had more time to study this, I'm sure the key to unlocking everything is here. Everything! Damn this planet! He seemed, uh, driven. Maybe we can find out what they found out. Since he's obviously not here anymore. Oops. That may have been a bad idea. Activation of research base power grid has triggered additional volcanic instability. Recommend immediate departure. Okay, that might be a good idea. Um, okay, not that way. I walk faster if I draw my gun. Run! I can actually run. Not for very long, though. Well, at least Samara and Grunt got to stretch their legs. We're not out of the woods yet, though. Now this way, which is blocked before, is open. I don't think you can actually die here. Still. I don't want to test that theory. So let's keep moving.
Sure, this is a brilliant time to go scan for minerals. Oops. I'm a terrible driver. I was in the Mako. I am in this thing too. I'm a lot better in real life. Looks like we reached the end. I'm sure Joker didn't like this. He wasn't too happy about landing uh, in a volcano on Ferrum, after all. Data recovered from research station. Dr. Case's location discovered. Landing party extracted from volcano. 1,625 credits for 4,500 iridium. Not exactly resource-rich uh, DLC is these. We're not getting an awful lot of stuff. Apparently we found the location of Dr. Case. Commander, you've received a new message at your private terminal. And I think we got a message about that. This looks like another spam message. It could happen to you. Elkos Mill Routing. Adrell lay in the ocean, dying from Capral Syndrome, and had a dream. In his dream, the Enkindlers came to him and charted the course of his life. Adrell saw the wakes and, edels, and eddies, and saw that sometimes the Enkindlers swam alongside him, limbs raking the water, while other times he was alone. The Drell saw that the times he was alone were the hardest times in his life. He asked the Enkindlers, why was this one abandoned? The Enkindlers answered, their light shining brightly, you were never abandoned. In those difficult times in your life, it was our bodies that bore you through the water. The Drell awoke and found this Keppel Syndrome cur cured. If you follow the light of the Enkindlers, it can happen to you. Where the Enkindlers go, we shall follow. And where their light is the sun, we shall be the stars around them. Send this message to six beings of your acquaintance, and your greatest wish shall com come true. Religious spam. Even worse than regular spam. Concerns regarding keepers from Chorba. Now, he was the guy who was uh, did the scanning. Not uh, the guy who I was mistaken from before, from the previous spam message, which, uh, which was actually a shopkeeper on the Citadel. I hope this address still works. I promised to send you intel on the keepers if I found anything, and this is important. See, those scans you took? It turns out the keepers are bioengineered, and based on my comparisons to some of that material from CERN's flagship Sovereign, they were engineered millions of years ago by the same people who made Sovereign. You may not understand how important this is, but it suggests that the Citadel wasn't really made by the Profians. It may have been made by something far older, with the Keepers as organic guardians. And what's more, based on my genetic readings, they're supposed to react to... something, some signal or something, about every 50,000 years. You can measure genetic variances, it's a bit like comparing rings on a tree to see the drought years. Whoever did this, well... Around the last time the signal went off would be around the time the Profians disappeared, and it's scheduled to go off sometime around now. If any of the old tech still work, they could have some nasty surprises waiting for us. Just thought you'd want to know. Nobody here on the Citadel will listen to me. Chorban. Um, well, I'm sorry to say this, Chorban, you're a bit behind the curve. But I do understand how you feel about nobody on the Citadel willing to listen. Because that's happened to me, as well. I think you only get this if you completed the uh, Scan the Keepers assignment in Mass Effect 1. Artifacts catalogued from Project Firewalker. The artifacts you gathered might give us a lead on a larger Prophean site. They have incredible value for historians and might be instrumental in building our understanding of the Prophean legacy. Excellent work in mitigating the Geth presence, Commander. We will keep you apprised of further Geth activity should it threaten the mission in integrity. That's actually the previous one, isn't it? Not the current one. Alert! Security breach from Project Firewalker. That was a close one on Karamto, Shepard. A disturbing fact has come to light in analyzing the channel you used to transmit your findings. Unauthorized transmissions have been sent from, a, from the MSV Rosalie to an unknown destination. It's assumed that this is how the Geth are tracking Doctor's case and, Oco and Oloi. This is very um, distracting to me that it says DRS, as the plural of doctors. 
because to me, as a Dutchman, that reads Dr. Anders, which is another title, which is actually the title I have, which is uh, roughly equiv equivalent to a master's degree internationally, but it is a purely Dutch title. I, they don't use it anymore. I'm well, I was one of the last people to get that title, and may also use the title Master of Science. Nowadays, you get master degrees at Dutch universities, same as most other places in the world. But it used to be Dr. Anders, which is abbreviated DRS, same as that. Um, the data you retrieved gives us a definite location for Dr. Case's Prophean site. The doctor was certain that the, she that the site held a Prophean revelation of enormous significance. It is recommended that you head there as soon as possible to counter any GEF retrieval missions already in play. Okay, so that gave us another location um, and another assignment, I think. Prophean site, but I kind of want to do the GEF incursion first, since we found out about that first. Later reveals that Dr. Case was interested in the anomalous weather patterns on the planet's Latesh. He had scattered probes on the planet's surface in the hope that the uh, natural atmospheric conditions might be related to Prophean technology. If Cerberus could recover the data from those probes, it should, uh, could shed some light on Dr. K's research. Okay, well, I guess we'll go after that first, then. Let's uh, just get these planets before we do that. I wonder what they found, Doctors Case and Oloy. Almost out of fuel. And what happened to them? And who was sending that transmission that was allowing the GAF to track them? There we go. All fueled up again. Um, let's see, GAF incursion appears to be here. Project Overlord is also here, but we're not going there. The Phoenix Massing. Appears to be over here. Comos, Firewalker Gef Incursion. Only two planets. Let's take a look. Latesh, translated from a Salarian dialect as It's Still Winter, has an almost habitable temperature and abundant water but shows no signs of life. Regular supervolcanic eruptions in the southern, southern hemisphere have shrouded the sun and led to a climate even more bone chilling than usual. Mean temperature of minus 35 degrees Celsius and minus 53 degrees Celsius with shroud. Nice place. This is a uh, kind of a hard mission. Not because of enemies we have to fight. Probe away. Scans have found something. Planetary scans detect signals from sensor pods left on the planet's surface. These pods may contain valuable data. Warning: Surface temperatures are extremely low. Advise keeping hammerhead exposure to the cold at an absolute minimum. So basically, you're on a time limit the whole time through. Well, since Samara and Grunt just got to walk around on the previous mission and still didn't actually get to do anything, and I know they won't get any won't get to do anything on this mission, I might as well still take them. I'm just counting all of this as one mission, as far as uh, using squad mates is concerned. Why am I even checking that? Warning. Prolonged exposure to extreme temperatures may degrade engine performance. Mission objectives located. Yeah, so... We need to make sure that we don't... Freeze. Atmospheric data acquired. Engine temperature stabilizing. 
And that means we need to keep an eye on the um, engine temperature gauge. And every time you get a note, you uh, warm up again. Caution, engine temperature falling. Extraction complete. And getting all ten of them can be difficult. Especially if you mess up hitting the uh, Caution, nodes like I'm doing. Extraction complete. Caution, engine temperature falling. Note that it's not actually going back up to uh, full uh, normal temperature Extraction every single time. Complete. And the distance we need to cover between nodes is also somewhat increasing. Well, it actually varies. Not really strictly Extraction increasing. Complete. But I seem to be doing reasonably well, so... Oh, damn it, didn't get that. Extraction complete. Caution, engine temperature falling. Okay, only one more left. This is also the biggest distance that needs to be covered. I made it! First try. I don't always make it first, thr first try. Maybe we can find out what the Geff were doing here. Even though we didn't actually see any Geff. Wow, we leveled up! Yes, all those experience points do add up eventually. We only got one squad point, point from it though, so... We only have uh, nine more levels to go, 30 is the maximum, so only uh, nine more points after this as well. Atmospheric data recovered from all ten nodes. If you don't make it until the end, you don't get a mission failure, you just get fewer nodes, and that means you get fewer credits. 2,500 credits, uh, 5,000 palladium, and that's it. I don't think there's any other consequences for missing any nodes here. Since this isn't a place where you find Dr. Case's location anyway, that was a volcano station. You get any messages about this? Commander, you've received a new message at your private terminal. Apparently we have. Atmospheric data received from Project Firewalker. Commander, a very capable team is analyzing the data you gathered from the Geth's research into atmospheric change. We hope it may open up new avenues, avenues for terraforming, proce terraforming procedures for future colonies. The tech used in the beacons also contains communications innovations that should help us develop better systems to reduce atmospheric noise. There's no evidence of Prophean activity on this planet. Okay, so apparently this was just a wild goose chase. Well, some useful data came out of it, I suppose. I will come back here later for um, Project Overlord. So we'll deal with the other systems then. I suppose I'll uh, just check the planets in this system while we're here. See if there's any an anomalies. I'm not really interested in scanning them. No anomalies.
All right, one more Firewalker thing to do. Um, oh, it's all the way down here. No, wait. Oh, there it is. Things are becoming hard to spot with so many things to do. The rival is all the way down there. But that we won't do until after we finish the game. I'm just gonna check the rest of the planets real quick. Oh, this is actually a fairly uh, big um, system by the looks of things. Let's check this Prophean Ruin, see what was so important. Makaira's largest moon, Copis, is a desolate place with an extremely thin atmosphere. Its crust is largely silica-based and there are no signs of water. Like its parent planet, it is high, its high albedo keeps it from being a total inferno, and when occluded by Makaira, its temperatures can be nearly tolerable. Its low gravity can be easily countered by a vehicular or personal mass effect field for comfortable exploration. Yeah, only uh, 0.1 G. Probe away. Something on our sensors. Anomaly detected. Prophean artifacts detected on planet's surface. Artifact sign is protected by a powerful energy barrier. Scans detect muted mechanical signatures consistent with hidden, hidden automated defenses. Okay. Or should expect trouble then. And I'm still sticking with Samara and Grunt. Three points now. Not enough. I want four. So I need another level to uh, do that. And I'm not doing anything with them at the moment. This is the last assignment for Project Firewalker. I recommend shooting the rocket drones. Yeah, that's definitely not going to work. So we have to find these power sources. I guess following the cables would be a good uh, idea there. And make sure we don't get killed by drones. Kinetic barrier strength reduced. Several more to go, it seems. And it also... Ah! What the hell? That was really close! That's... I can't actually get up there from here, can I? Need to find a better place to, uh ascend this wall, because I can't jump that high. Can I? Oh, maybe I can. Let's try it. Okay, no, I can't. It's not that they take a lot... Oh. Yeah, I wasn't really looking. I was paying attention to the drones, not the barrier. Anything behind here? Oh, this is where the... 
Hunter Power Sword was plus. Made it. We're not safe from the drones up here, as you may have noticed. Auto-targeting is really not working in my favor here, is it? Kinetic barrier strength reduced. Good. Need to go up again. This is why you don't put your power generators outside the kinetic barrier. There are resources there. Only one more generator. Good thing we don't have to um, conserve ammo or anything. Kinetic barrier strength reduced. Kinetic barrier deactivated. Path is clear. Okay. Let's see what awaits us in here. I suck. I did not hit that at all. The sight is spectacular. Time, however, has proven to be the real enemy. Even with those blue sun thugs hired to protect the dick side, we barely managed to erect the shield before the gaff arrived. How can they know our movements always before we do? Am I beaming my thoughts directly to them? Must find out how they are doing this. I shall ask Dr. Orloy for whatever help he can provide. Is this one of the doctors? No, this looks like a Blue Suns mercenary. Apparently hired them for security. What's that sound? It's actually possible to hit those things. Where is this leading? Some kind of ancient ruin. I guess this is Brophian stuff. More animals. A journal. A dead body. Dr. Aloy must have been indoctrinated by the Reapers. I found him sending our data to a Geth ship. I won't be responsible for another Geth attack. Another Eden Prime. I've silenced Aloy. Forever. Okay. Well, these are just mercs.
No signs of opposition so far. Ooh, research terminal. We can use this. Biotic damage research. It's too late for me. They're still in my head, stealing my thoughts. I can't keep them out. I've got no choice but to destroy this relic. And myself. What was going on here? Almost sounds like the bird indoctrinator or something. Let's hack this. I think we found the artifact. That looks familiar. Does anybody have the consort's trinket? Or did we leave that on uh, the planet where we found the other sphere? Dr. Case would never understand the deal I made with the Collectors. He's obsessed with these Protheans. He would sacrifice everything to learn their secrets. It nearly cost me my life, but I did it for you, Helen, to ensure you remain safe. The damned Collectors agreed to spare your colony in exchange for this Prothean find. I can only hope you remained innocent of any of this ugly business. It was all for you, Dr. Robert O'Loy. Okay. Who's Helen? His wife, maybe? Oh, well, we found the source of the noise. Always with the touching dangerous artifacts. That was weird. Dr. Case's research station found. Brophian artifact recovered. Got a biotic damage research, uh, which is always good. 7,500 credits so far. Or so far, uh, we got from this mission. And that concludes Project Firewalker. I think we'll get another message to wrap things up. seems that they found some research about um, the Protheans, found this artifact, but somehow made a deal with the Collectors. Who I suppose... Commander, you've received a new message at your private terminal. Sent the GAF after them or something, I don't know. Not really sure how the GAF tie into all this. Historic discovery from Project Firewalker. The burst of energy that coincided with your retrieval of the Prothean artifact contained coded information. Most of the data was beyond our ability to track, but the threads we were able to decrypt have provided new avenues for research on energy transfer and biotics. It will keep the scientists busy for years to come. The data indicates that the artifact is currently inert and not dangerous. We wonder, however, that if Dr. Case had more time, would he have unlocked its secrets? We will continue his research. A landmark find for humanity. Good work, Shepard. So, it seems that we have um, finished Project Firewalker. Barrier has been disabled and the Prothean Relic obtained. Recovering the Relic has provided valuable new data on biotics. And Dr. Case and Oloy are both dead. And they were apparently working with the Collectors for some reason. I'm not sure if they were just mad or if there was some kind of indoctrination involved there. Not sure why uh, there would be, because there were no Reaper artifacts or anything involved. Um, biotic damage, 4 out of 5. Those require more upgrades. 
Same for these. Now we actually got something from this beyond uh, money and resources and the no upgrade. For you, Commander. We got a new adornment for our cabin, just like the uh, Normandy crash side DLC gave us our helmet. We now got, I think you probably guessed it, the um, Prothean Artifacts is floating above our table in a kind of creepy way. Uh, do I really want this in my quarters? Are they sure it's inert? I mean, if I touch it, it does that. I think this thing is very creepy. And my fish are still alive, thanks to Kelly. Despite the fact that I haven't fed them in a while. Because Kelly has been doing it. Well, that's it for Project Firewalker. Next up, I think we're going to continue with uh, one of the loyalty missions.